Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. This week, as I pondered on what I was going to share on this week's video, a phrase kept jumping out at me, and that phrase is why purpose? Why purpose? You know, and it took me back to my story of my story of purpose, my journey of purpose. You know, I learned that from a friend of mine. She told me that purpose is a journey. And I think since she told me that, I've pondered on it and I've actually realized that it really is a journey. You know, when I started off on my journey, I remember at the time I was just fed up, I was just tired, I was really unfulfilled. I had done a couple of jobs, but I just felt like I needed, you know, something that was fulfilling. I just was not fulfilled at that time. So I took time off work and then I came home and I just said to my husband, I'm going to take time off work. And I would take the children to school. And once I was done, I would come back home, sit at the base of the stairs and just ask God, what have you created me to do? And I remember day one, I didn't hear anything. Day two, I didn't hear anything. But on day three, he spoke to me and said, you used to write as a child. And I said, but Lord, I haven't written over a, over a decade. He said, it doesn't matter. You used to write on your way to pick up the children today, stop at the dollar store, pick up a pack of three by five index cards, and I want you to come here tomorrow, sit with me and journal everything I write, everything I tell you. You know, that started me off on a journey of writing and I didn't know where this was going, but I, I just obeyed. And as I began to write, I started to feel fulfillment because I started to birth dreams in my heart, dreams in my heart, you know, and they just started me off on a journey. Why am I sharing this with you? I want to share three reasons why we really need to fulfill our purpose. And the first reason is because, like a famous quote by Les Brown, by a Miles Monroe, it says, when the abuse of a thing is not known, abuse is when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. So when you don't know, when, when, a, when a creator makes a creation, if that creation doesn't know why it was created, it's just going to be useless. It's not really going to function as it was created. The purpose of a thing means the original intent of a thing. So the purpose just means you have to discover what that intent is. Why are you here? Why did God create you? Why did he make you? Why was it important for him to make you? That exactly is the reason one of the reasons why you have to fulfill that purpose. You have to seek to discover, God, why did you create me? Why did you make me? Why am I here? So that you can actually fulfill the original intent to, for which you are here. The second thing is that when you were created, God put on the inside of you full functionality. Just like an iPad will have, a phone will have, he put abilities in you, he put gifts in you, he put resources in you, he put so much in you. And when you do not put those resources to you, when you don't know what that purpose is, often you would not be able to fully put those resources to use. And so it is so important to find out that purpose so that you can actually do what? So you can birth everything he has put on the inside of you. You can birth those dreams you can put on the, he has put on the inside of you. You can bring forth everything he has put on you. can use every resource he has given to you. You know, there's, there's, there's this verse in the Bible that talks about the parable of the talent. And there was that one, there was that one guy that would not use his one talent. He went and he buried it and the Bible calls him a wicked servant. The same way when you and I don't use what God has put on the inside of us, we're almost like that guy that could be called a wicked servant. So we need to discover what that purpose is so that we can begin to birth everything God has put on the inside of us. And the third reason I want to share is that, you know, purpose is not only about you. Purpose often involves other people. And so if you don't fulfill your purpose, often you're holding off other people from fulfilling their purpose. It leads me to the story of my son. I've shared this story as well a couple of times, but some people might not have heard it. A couple of years ago, about two years ago, you know, before then, my, son, my husband and I had been trying to get my son to write a book. He wasn't interested. He didn't want to write. So we thought, like, okay, we'll leave him. When he was ready, he could write it. You know, he wasn't really interested. But I was going to a conference 
a success comment. So he said, okay, I want to go with you. I said, okay. So he went with me. And as we sat at the conference, the speaker, Terry Samuel Ford, she, she, she said a phrase. It says, someone in need is waiting at the other end of your obedience. And as soon as he heard that phrase, he said, mommy, she is talking to me. I need to write my book. And he started writing right there. He started writing. You know, we got to the airport, he was writing. We got home, he was writing. And he wouldn't stop writing until he finished. Why am I saying that? He did not know the purpose of that book until he heard that statement. Often, people are waiting for you to obey what God has called you to do so that they can do what they have been called to do. And so when you hold off on doing what you are called to do, often you're holding off other people. So you might want to ask yourself and say, am I holding off other people from doing what God has called them to do or called them to be by not obeying? Yes, it's food for thought. And, you know, I'm going to have more to share about this next week. If this has blessed you in one way or the other, please share it with somebody else that can share with someone that can share with someone. And if you have any comments, let me know which of the which of those points blessed you the most. You can put in the comments below and you can connect with me as well. I would love to connect with you. I'll see you again next week. Have an awesome